Hi, I'm Barry and this is Memento Exclusives. So this is a race space where we build our, mainly our show cars. This is our Alfa Romeo 2022 car that we build in-house, paint in-house. Also one in Selfridges. Steering wheel, make these in-house as well. Bring back memories of the olden days. I used to work in F1 as a mechanic. Worked in, uh, as a mechanic in F1 for about 10 years. I worked at BAR, Honda, Jordans, Simtek. I um, did a couple of years in IndyCar as well in America. <laughs> Is that your job list? The boy's job list. Job list on the end. Need to check the spelling. Lee, what are you up to? Uh, oh, we're just building this. Is that the wheel of the This is a new ship. Do you know where it's going? We do, yes. Yes, we do. Okay. okay. <laughs> we're not allowed to say. So chassis, Lee's building up the chassis, then the boys will build it up so it'll eventually look similar to the one over there. Wow, they always tell me they're flat out, but... Uh, at the moment I'm framing a UFC uh, signed photo of Fight 274. So on all of our um, signed products, we have the UFC hologram, which have a, has an NFC behind it. James is framing some uh, Sebastian Vettel bodywork. Um, with this beautiful picture and this beautiful plaque. How long does it take you to frame this, James? An hour. An hour? Can't you go any yeah. faster? Uh, I can get sort of 55 minutes. 55 minutes? Well, <laughs> check it out. There you go, look at that. Beautiful. I think James will frame that. Show, show your watch. I bought that as a present for James about 15 years ago, was it? It did, it's still going well. It's worked with us for a long time. Racing point front wing flaps. These guys frame so much. They're flat out all day, every day. Uh, Valtteri Bottas, race juice suits. All these blank frames here, ready for the next checkered flag to come in, because we frame 160 checkered flag squares from every Grand Prix with personalized names on them. So the checkered flag that gets waved at the end of the race, you can personalize it, get your name put onto each square, and then it comes here and gets chopped up into these squares, and then gets put into the, the frame with the checkered flag being waved at the end of the race. So your name on the checkered flag. Beautiful. Stores notice. When the door, when the store's door is closed, please see Steve for access. Who's Steve? Basically anything and everything from boxes, mini helmets, heritage suits, pieces of bodywork that we cut up and turn into acrylics. I found the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Toilet paper. Some of the parts we're building are show cars in, in base material, literally down to hub assemblies and everything. Anthony Joshua boxing gloves, sign gloves, UFC replica mitts, full size helmets. That's from the Heritage range. We've got the new ones, which we've got here is a Gasly. Signed Gasly. Paul Oz prints that we have. All part of the range. We'll get Charlie, because he didn't want to talk to us. Charlie, what are you up to? Just bagging up. The, bagging up the halo, yeah. So you'll bag it up, get all the air out, and then we'll bake it. What are you going out for? You're not done yet. Exactly, mate. So we start with an epoxy tooling block, and using tooling material, we lay up a mould. We make these moulds, uh, they're carbon moulds, and that's what we use to make our final component out of this material here. So we have a lighter material, so it looks nice, it's visually nice. Then we have a bulk imply too, it's to thicken the part up and, and really give it the structure. Callum's gonna show us what we've just pulled out of the autoclave. So we pull these out of the autoclave, that's why they're looking a bit, a bit dusty, but um, we take all the breather, which is the fabric off, um, we crack them apart, and then you're left with a final component. It's gonna be finished, and then it'll be transferred to the race bays. But these are some examples. So these are wheel covers, uh, molds, high gloss finish. 
These have got to look as nice as we want the components to look. This is exactly how we'd expect it to come out of the clave. This is untrimmed, so it's got sharp edges. Here you can see the trim lines, so this is what it will be finished to. So when this is finished, it's going to come out a perfect part um, and it'll be ready to go into paint and on the car. Um, as an example of a seat, obviously I've got to watch myself here because they're all quite sharp. This is, this is Del. Uh, we worked together in the olden days at BAR. I was uh, number one mechanic, Del was uh, electrician, did all the electronics on the car. Um, we just finished the um, Alfa Romeo steering wheels. One of our products that we, we make in-house, all 3D printed, fully operational, paddles, display work. These go on our show cars, this is the same sort of thing. Can be used for a gaming console as well. Uh, it's not worth looking at the 3D printer because there's nothing got, in I'm it. I'm just about to put a 60 hour print on it. Are you? That's just cameras. Cameras. Yeah. This is where we've got some new products going on. We're working on some candles in here, some torches, particularly a torch made out of a lay shaft. So lots of good stuff happens in here. All of our R&D work for our new products that are coming, our new product development area. Brand new 3D printer that arrived a couple of days ago. They wanted another one of Dell's new toys. This means we can 3D print our cameras, our cameras for the show cars. Always keep our food hot in here as well because it's about 90 degrees in here at the moment, so nice and warm. Got some UFC canvas. This is fight fight worn canvas. It's going to be used um, for making key rings. These are skateboards we make. So these are made of the plat from the planks that go underneath the Formula One car. We route these out uh, on the, our router, which is in the machine shop. These are brake discs, race use brake discs that we've been in lacquered. Um, and then we'll turn these into clocks. <laughs> this is a paint shop. I don't know why I'm laughing. I think it's because I've seen Waz. Josh, head of paint shop. Yes. Over to you. What is happening? What is going on in the paint shop today? Starting a new car today. This is a retail car, Alfa Romeo car. So this will be going into prep bay next. The guys next door are currently preparing a rear wing. Paint booth, Josh. What yeah. happens in here? So in here, this is where all of our primer, top coat, clear coat, everything goes on. This one is a generic 2022 nose. This is going to go into paint in the next hour. It's all been pre-cleaned down, remasked, uh, ready for base coat, and that will then lacquer over the top of that afterwards. Once that's finished, that will go straight over to the race bays to be assembled onto the car also. In here, we've got our own in-house scheme. We've got our formulated mixes on our computer there. The computer will tell us exactly which color we need. We have a measurement, uh, normally a weight. That will tell us exactly how many tinters we need for each color. Mix it up and then that will go straight into the booth and we'll do the same again with our lacquers and primers really as well. We can scan colors, we can then obviously produce that color in-house uh, within 10 minutes. So say for instance, I wanted to scan- My jumper. Your Barry's jumper, I can obviously click that there, I can go through and scan that back into the computer and that will give me the um, exact shade of Barry's jumper and we'll be able to formulate a colour from that. This is packaging, so once the framing's done, they all come in here, like the checker flags are coming here to be packaged up, and then they go into distribution to be shipped out. Also some authentication happening here. So this is where we're just allocating each, each number to each product to make sure it's all authenticated with the NFCs behind them. These are our NFCs that were behind all of our products and your security holograms. All of our products are finished, uh, ready to be dispatched. This is Arta, head of distribution. Any complaints, always uh, address it to Arta. Then we get dispatch in three days to US. In UK, it's 24 hours dispatch, so that we get delivered the next day. So DHL will come and pick these up. They come and pick up once or twice a day? Daily collection at three o'clock. So, so five past three, do you go home? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it all happens in here. All of this is stock ready to be dispatched. In this uh, bay is the UFC products, and then in the next, the next few bays, it's all F1 products, all ready to, all ready to go out the door. 